It is easier to use a gel coat paste when repairing screw holes or other damage on a vertical surface. Spectrum Color Patch Paste Gel Coat Repair is an excellent product and easy to use. You can buy the original factory color to match your boat without having to add and mix color pigments to a clear gel coat. The perfect color match makes the repair look professional. Make sure you wear gloves during this procedure. Mix one ounce of gel coat. Use a graduated measuring cup and measure out the exact amount. Add 10 to 12 drops of catalyst. Adding too much or not enough will cause inadequate curing of the gel coat. Always be exact in your measurements. Mix the gel coat thoroughly until smooth. You have about 15 minutes to apply the gel coat after mixing. Apply the gel coat to the damaged area. Build up enough to be able to sand even with the existing surface without exposing the screw hole or damaged area. When repairing holes, it is best to build up the gel coat a little higher than normal so you will have enough to sand smooth and even with the existing surface. If your build up is too thin, when you sand even with the surface, you may expose the indentions around the hole and require a second application. It will take longer to sand smooth with the additional buildup of gel coat, but you will not have to reapply again. Even though the gel coat paste will cure in one to two hours, it is best to let it cure for 24 hours before sanding. Sanding is the most critical step in achieving a smooth professional finish. Follow these steps first. Use professional grade wet dry sandpaper. Never use cheap sandpaper for fiberglass repair. Add one or two teaspoons of liquid detergent to three gallons of warm water. Soak the sandpaper in the water for a minimum of 15 minutes prior to use. Always keep the sandpaper wet, frequently dipping it into the water. Use a sanding block and keep the sandpaper flat against the surface at all times. The sandpaper grit will get clogged with particles. Clean and rinse frequently. Start with 180 or 220 grit sandpaper. Keep the sandpaper and surface wet to avoid further damage to the surrounding areas. The water and detergent carry away the fiberglass particles as you sand. Take your time and be thorough. Sand only one tape section at a time. Sand until the new gel coat is even with the existing surface. Fill the surface with your fingertips frequently. Check for even surface. Do not over sand the area. Remove the tape. Change to 400 grit sandpaper. Keep the surface wet. Sand until even and smooth. Check frequently with your fingertips. Dry the sanded areas with a soft towel. Clean the sanded areas with a damp cloth rinsed in warm water. Fill the sanded areas with your fingertips. Note any uneven surfaces. Change to 1000 grit sandpaper. Sand the area again. Keep the surface wet at all times. Change to 1500 grit sandpaper. Sand the area again. Make sure you keep the surface wet. This will help remove any scratches caused by previous sanding steps.
lightly sand and feel as you go with your fingertips and sand any uneven surface areas. Clean the area with a damp cloth rinsed in warm water. Dry the area with a soft cloth. Use a heavy duty rubbing compound and work it into the sanded areas. Remove the rubbing compound with a soft terry cloth. Change to a terry cloth pad and apply medium duty rubbing compound to the sanded areas. Continue rubbing the areas until scratches are removed. Buff the sanded areas with a soft terry cloth. Apply a marine polish to the complete area with a soft terry cloth. Work the polish into the surface. Buff the complete gel coat surface area with a soft terry cloth pad until the surface has a vibrant shine. The job is complete. Before. and after.